Hi everyone, Liam Magpie here and today we're going to look at something very exciting and very highly anticipated and this is the Jurassic World Gigantic Trackers Dino Trackers Elastosaurus we've got a new um, marine um, reptile dino shall we say from Mattel and this one is very highly anticipated it is very large in la large and in charge um, these are now finally out in Smiths. They're not on the website at the moment for some reason. They might be out in on Amazon somewhere. But the if you are a massive Jurassic World fan and you love Jurassic World toys and you've been waiting patiently for these new waves of um, Jurassic World toys, then I would suggest going to Smiths and getting your hands on them. I have got quite a lot of Jurassic World stuff coming up soon, so please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, and... Yeah, it's about time the UK got a few more new figures. This figure in particular, I think it's been out a l not long in the um, US. And I personally didn't think that we were going to be able to get our hands on this one for a long time. But this figure is absolutely beautiful. The packaging shows you this logo at the top, which shows you that it would have been in um, like obviously water or oceans in the background it's showing you a sunset with seas in the background and then we've got blue and beta on on the back as well and then it just shows you the action feature which is these two buttons what we've got what are really nicely blended which i'll show you that when we get out of the packaging on the back of the packaging um we have i will show you with the how to put the like tracker thing accessory here it's compatible with the Jurassic World facts app so I always like to pause away and scan away and um, so you can pause away and scan away and it just shows you some more pictures of the really cool reptile and it just looks awesome and then we've got this other available figure as well and um, I have got a review coming up of that one as well and um, this one's actually going to go up first and then I'm going to do and then I'm going to put this one up second um, because I had a bit of a delay trying to post that one. So yeah, without further ado, I'm going to get this amazing figure out of the packaging. Uh, and this retails for £29, maybe £30 from Smith's. Um, it's quite pricey, but it is a bigger figure and you do get an accessory and it may go down in price. So yeah, without further ado, I'm going to get this awesome figure out of the packaging. So everyone, I have got the Elastosaurus out of the packaging and it comes with this accessory, which is the tracker. Um, it's the same as the other one, what we got. It's in this flexible, like rubber plastic material. It's got two belt bits at the top, and one at the top in small and one in the finger what goes around the belly area. It's very um, detailed, but I feel like this could have added with a bit more color, maybe some silver in there. Um, Maybe if you're more little, like, leather marks on it, uh, I don't know. It just feels like it's a bit lacklustre. But sculpt-wise, it's very nice. Like, you can see all these, like, bits of textures here. These panel bits could have been done in, like, silver. Um, But, yeah, still overall, a nice little accessory. And it simply goes around the neck like that. And then underneath the belly and then put on, like, that as a belt buckle. And it stays on really well and it fits great so but now to the actual main event this figure is absolutely beautiful on camera it's coming off more of a um light blue it is a light blue but it's more like um it's got a little bit of a hint of like a greenish blue if that makes sense and then the, the fins have these little bits of um like a gray gray blue and then we've got like a dark like tealy blue on the end of the tail and then scatters of white <clears throat> and we have yeah, it's it's got little bits of marbling again on the skin tone as you can see on the fin here little bits of like marbling just to add to the depth of the actual figure itself and then a little bit of creamy color so it's got quite a nice array of colors on it it obviously it's a marine dana um reptile shall we say it. <clears throat> and it really does fit the colors very well so overall the colors are beautiful 
The sculpt overall is beautiful and the size of it is a very nice size as well. It's got quite a lot of articulation as well. And here is the face sculpt up close. The face sculpt is very, very nicely done. It's got some nice texturing, um, lumps and bumps. It's got a really nicely painted orange eye. It's got a cream jaw and the jaw has got some nice texturing underneath as well. Um, around the neck area, it's got these nice little folds. Oh, and on the neck, it's got like a crease going all the way down. Really, really nicely sculpted, as you can see there. And then the teeth are nicely done as well. Mine's got a little bit of a blemish there. I didn't really notice that when I cut it from the shop. But it's not, don't look too bad. Obviously, the varying different sizes. Some overlap on the top gum, some overlap on the bottom. And yeah, the inside of the mouth is done really nice as well. And it's such a beautiful um, sculpt. I really like the darker blue going around the eye as well. As you can see there, now the camera's deciding not to focus. There you go. It's just so beautiful. I was really excited to get this one. Um, and I have got quite a lot of few Jurassic World stuff coming up soon. So stay tuned for my reviews. Um, and the sculpt has got some nice little textures of little lumps and bumps on the back of the neck, as you can see here. And going down the back of its actual back. Um, some nice creases here. And then the rest of the textures is really nice as well. It feels smooth but also got like you can see it's got the texture there. Um, it ain't raised like these. It's just a little bit more smoother. Very gives you that really nice um, like you can tell it's like for underwater if that makes sense <laughs> and yeah the tail has got a really nice sculpt to it as well with this bit of fin detailing it's a nice little burn there there is no articulation on the tail but it is it has got like a flex to it um and then here is the scan code here, so you can pause away and scan away. There you go. That blends in nicely. The buttons blend in nicely as well. I really like the underneath of the belly as well because it's got these, this really nice cream colour which fades underneath um, and like fits and goes into this blue colour underneath the belly really nicely done and I am just in I'm just in awe of it to be fair I'm in love with it the um scales the fins shall I say have these really nice textures as well they're really nicely done and then it goes into this more te like smoother texture same goes for this side. Um, the underneath have these little like pebbly details. And the same goes for this side. And each fin's a little bit different. Like this one has a bit of marbling. It's a little bit more of a darker blue. Um, as you can see there. And then this one's a bit more lighter. There you go, you can see it a bit more further when I pull it back. Lighter on this side and a little bit darker. And the um, sculpting is different as well because each fin, like I said, each fin's different. So this one's lighter, it's got a few more um, textures on this fin. This one's got less textures but more marbling effect on this one and it's darker. And then on this one, you've got less textures. And then you've got the Jurassic World symbol there. Um, and then this one has um, more scattered out, but bigger, like, scale, shall we say, 
on this one. So Mattel's doing a real good job of not making it all just look like a repeated pattern or a repeated um, sculpt. And it is beautiful. So yeah, articulation wise, we can move the fins up and down, that far up, that far down. Can ro rotate all the way around. You can even move them forward like that, back like that, and up like that. The same going all the way around as well. Oh, well, it can, but I don't want to do it because it's not allowing me to do it, but it will. Um, same goes for that side as well. Moves up and down. And get some really good swimming action. Whoosh. It is amazing. And then we can put the fins like that. If you want to just stand it on your shelf, it will stand really nicely just on your shelf. Um, I do photography as well with these figures. So I will be doing one with underwater. Um, they haven't got no electronicals in it, so you're not going to damage the battery. Because I've had to actually buy... Um, the ones that are like the raw ones, I ha I actually have to buy two. One where I can have, I can hear the raws and then one where I can put it in water and yeah, kind of like not care if that makes sense. And then this is the action feature button for the, um, it's got a chomping action and it puts its neck down. And then the other button turns its head to the side and chomps on the side, which I think is a really good action feature because um, obviously the main point would have been its mouth and neck for it to be... They couldn't really do anything else unless they did like a fin, like flapping action, but I'm kind of glad that they just concentrated it in the neck. I like how the mouth moves as well. Um, it could... You can actually still pose it that way as well. If you put it, its neck like that, you can pose it like that, and its mouth will stay like that. Um, it might not, and it might it might do, but depending on how you hold it, it will go like that. It just looks absolutely beautiful. So yeah, that one goes forward and chomps. That one goes sideways and chomps. And then you've got articulation in the neck at the top. No more articulation other than with the action feature, but you can move the head side to side so you can get some nice posability that way as well. As you can see. And there is the head um, forward. And what I like about this one as well is you, you pose the neck like that. It will still use its action feature. So it can grab its prey underwater. And yeah. There isn't much more I can say other than it's just beautiful. Um, I am done with this review. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more toy related stuff and more toy episodes. Um, but before I go, my overall thoughts on it is the colours are absolutely beautiful. Um, the sculpt is, it's all, basically it's all 10 out of 10. There's no bad thing about, I, I can't say one bad thing about this figure at all. It even comes with the um, accessory. It's definitely 100% worth adding to your Jurassic World collection. Um, I can't wait to do some photography. And if you follow me on my Instagram, I post photography photos. I post upcoming toys what I'm reviewing, upcoming toys of what are coming out. So like they'll show some promo photos of new Jurassic World toys. And I also do a mixture of different toys on my channel as well. So if you like a bit of everything, please like and subscribe. Go get your hands on these amazing toys what Mattel's coming out with. They've overall done a really good job on making the sculpt a little bit different on each thing um, on various parts of the bodies as well I've noticed on some of the newer ones and yeah 
So I'll see you all on the next one. Bye, guys.